Hello and welcome back. Um, we've had a little bit of an absence here, I understand. Um, I've been a, a little bit down with the weather, but uh, I'm going to try to get a video done today. We are still Guns for Hire office, and I've decided we're going to see if we can get Contourth out of the way and then take our second contract. Looking for more work, if you got any. I've got something that might interest you. Can you give me any more information about the case? Sure. I've got all the information right here. We landed a cakewalk, boss. Client is waiting to speak to you over at the main gates. They want to get to a settlement location and are willing to pay you to get them there. You up for some easy money? Consider it done. Great. I'll keep trying to drum up more work while you're away. That sounds like an escort quest. Uh, Red Rocket Truck Stop? Oh my god. An escort to Red Rocket Truck Stop. Okay. That's a little different. But I've been thinking we need to take some of these jobs, get some money saved up so we can get better equipment. Uh, and then we can go hit uh, Corvega, join the Minutemen, become the general, blah, blah, blah. And there we go. So uh, that's what's been going on in my mind while I've been taking meds and relaxing and praying for the rain to go away. All that good stuff. Because we can't do anything without equipment, and we can't get equipment without money. Uh, and I was reading a fan fiction from Fallout 3 where the Lone Wanderer was trained by Jericho to salvage stuff, sell it, make money, you know, trade, all that good stuff. Jericho took him under his wing, pretty much. Even though we know, lore-wise, Jericho was an evil character for Fallout 3 that you could get as a companion. Um... I mean, he was almost a raider, but the story, the fanfic was really, really good. And, uh, <clears throat> the only problem was it wasn't finished uh, and it was many years old. It had been written a long time ago, but it was still pretty good. Okay. So let's go. If it looks like my secretary, uh, I, I don't know what we're going to do here. People. Hello. Excuse me. Say, you wouldn't happen to be the person I'm waiting for. Would you? If so, I could really use your help. It's our secretary. Help you with what exactly? There are settlements out there. Small communities of people banding together to survive. If what I've heard is true, you're responsible for that? Anyway, nope. I would like to pay you to escort me to one of those settlements. I want to start a new life. Away from all of... this. But... I just don't feel safe making the journey alone. And, well, I thank you kindly if you were willing to help me get there safely. Hmm, barman's hard work. All right, let's go. Great, thank you so much. Wow. Right you. Yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, we cannot fast travel through doors or anything like that. And they can't get too far away from us, so. Looking for Diamond City? Just follow the signs. No, thanks, though. Yep, stick with me. the super mutants and the walls apparently
just so you guys know i play world of warcraft and it is full of escort quests and i hate every one of them i don't like escort quests at all Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. So far. Where are you going? This is why I don't like escorts. And that's a negative on our, uh, on our business too. He was coming down the stairs. I don't know. I don't know what happened. I mean, you guys saw I kept constant check on her. And I got to the bottom of the ramp and turned around and she was going the other way. Failed. Lovely. Lovely. <clears throat> okay, well, we're not going to worry about it. Maybe we'll get another contract later or something. I don't think I'm going to go try to pick another one up right now, though. Yeah, I don't know if dog interfered on the ladder. I don't know what happened there, but whatever. It, it's fine. Feral ghouls like to hide in the dark. Makes night patrol real fright fest. Bet it does. Okay. So we failed that real quick. Um, do we want to try that? We're not doing uh, clearing ghouls. We're not going to bring Jet to Mama Murphy right now. We're not going to meet Ness at the crash site because that's a lot of stuff. Um, hmm. All right. Let's see what we can do with Hardware Town. At least that's a quest. Whoa. Now, a lot of these little buildings like this are used by Diamond City Security, but I don't normally see them this far back. So, I kind of have my doubts on that one. a couple of hits let's uh let's grab a bandage <clears throat> and 
I think even though I went to see the doctor repair my limbs, I think we still got a couple of uh, dinged up arm or leg, something like that. Let's see. Yeah. Uh, left arm is dinged up pretty bad. So I might go ahead and do that. And we'll just let that work its magic. Yeah, that quest kind of bothers me a little bit. But it is what it is. I think we failed that through no fault of our own. All right, remember when we're doing bandages and trauma kits, we just have to wait for the yellow cap, cap, lit, whatever it is, capsule to go away. So that's what we're kind of waiting for a little bit. Uh, what time is it? Um, it is 12 noon actually. Okay. All right. 12 noon. We have no fusion cells for that. Although that's a good, uh, that's a good, a little weapon there. It actually does more than our submachine gun. We just don't have the fusion cells for it. I may have some in Sanctuary Hills. I don't remember. Okay, our arm's a little bit better off. That's good. We're still doing wound healing and trauma kit though. So we're going to still wait for a bit. We should be able, if we can survive it, do, uh-oh. Uh uh-oh, uh we don't want any trouble while we're healing. Yeah, we get caution right here. If I remember correctly, we're going to have some raiders right there. We didn't clear this already. Did we? Yes, we've already cleared this. Okay. Yeah, we've already cleared this. Okay. I may need to turn it up a little bit where I can hear it just a little bit better. We've, we've done so much and it's been such a time frame between one video and the next. Um, I've kind of forgotten what we've done. Need all that lead. I'll give that to Codsworth to carry. I get all the lead. Cause that gets heavy. I 
like, you know what, just... Build a jump right now. There we go. Alright, good. Yeah, we may have cleared it out, but I didn't, um, loot everything. Wait a minute. Oh, I remember the boss upstairs. The boss upstairs, I remember now. Uh, go get him? Yeah, the boss upstairs. Huntsworth, go get him. Robot man. Fucking robot. Rawr. All right, I'm going to reload the save. I'm not going to start way back. Okay, I had forgotten all about that. Oh, you guys are probably sitting there like, no, wait, there's the, the boss up there. Remember? No, I didn't. All right. Load. Yeah, the fins. I'm like, I, I know if I cleared it out, I would have looted everything. And I was just sitting there. I was like, why didn't I loot everything? And then I started hearing the shots and I turned around and I saw the dude in the Minuteman outfit. And I was like, ah, I remember now. He's an asshole. Because me and Codsworth was fighting them in the office upstairs where the steamer trunk is. And that's where I got basically knocked out and sent back home. Okay, we're getting back into it. I've got to try to get more videos out on a regular basis, but just with veneers and the rain and the pressure and the clouds and stuff, I just can't concentrate and I get headaches and can't play, you know, like I want to. But I'm going to try to get, uh, try to get more done. Okay, so... Still gonna pick that damn lead up though.
Come here, Kanji. Hey. Can I be of service? I need you to carry all this junk. And thank you. We're gonna save. Do I have anything that I can throw at this sucker? No, not really. Okay. That dude ain't playing, man. Ah, that's gonna put me down. Stupid, stupid. What are you guys doing, you fucking morons? I know he's a skull, but we can kill him. I mean, I've gotten him down to less than 10% of health twice. Mm, mm, mm. Dude, Hardware Town. Let's try this again. I mean, a better weapon would definitely make a difference here. Uh, I'm going to actually try something that I just remembered. Because even though I like having Codsworth and Dog Meat with me, they're not doing anything. They're doing nothing. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to try this. I don't know if it's going to work or not. Weapon kit. This weapon cannot be changed. Which... Submachine gun. Can't change it. Okay. So that doesn't work. You double check. Weapon kit. This weapon cannot be changed. Alright. Weapon kit. This weapon cannot be changed. Really? Why do I even have a fucking weapon kit? I only have seven rounds for that. Alright. Um, but it does 27. I mean, the shotgun does the most damage. I want you to close the door go up there no go up it's up the stairs dumbass don't close it Kill him. He's shooting. Go, you dumb fucking robot. Oh, 
Oh gosh, that didn't do much of any. Did we finally get him? I'm going to look at that. Wow. I'm going to tell you boys that one no fun. We're going to save that. companions were nearly useless yeah. which one is this I can do high-tech lighting okay That's my dog. You can hear my dog. He decided to get up and see what I'm doing. Don't think I can pick this. Can't pick the lock yet. At least Codsworth wasn't completely useless on this one. Because his flamer is the one that really saved the day there. While I was trying to heal up. I know there's two guys out back. We're getting out of here. Uh, I haven't completely looted the place either, but that's fine. That's not what I was looking for. Mistaken, there is a mine. Where's the mine? I'm not seeing the mine. I know it's there, though. It blew me up one time already. There. No? Okay, I'm not going to worry about it.
frightfully quiet in those early days. I've never heard him say anything like that. Um, that was interesting. He was actually talking about the past. It was quiet before the looting started. when I'm trying to loot it. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so let's go run this one in. Probably gonna call it there. We're at 30 minutes. Um, I'm, I'm trying to uh, get some more done, and I, I honestly am trying to get a better schedule going. Uh, and when my head allows it, I will definitely do it. Uh, but for those of you who stick around and keep watching the videos, thank you very much. I do appreciate it. We want to get this channel built up, and I need to get uh, a lot of stuff done to do that. But you know, I mean, as long as I can get some videos out, we're, we're doing pretty good. <clears throat> All right. Just a little load screen. We did make level six. I got to remember that. We got a perk point. Heating bolter is ruined, but maybe I can get that uh, through the ZX1 or ZR1, whatever the damn thing is. Let's see if we can find the other other body. It went this way. Yeah. No. What do you got, buddy? A combat pistol. All right. And it's starting to rain on us, but that's okay. We're going to get out of here. Really? Really? That's what we're doing. Incoming, boys. Incoming. We'll go back and check them out later. Let's go. All right. And let's teleport inside. Go talk to Abbott and we're good to go. Yeah, like I said uh, earlier, I've been thinking a lot on it. We're going to have to raise money. And to be quite honest, when you're building up an army or you're building up an organization or you're building a company, you have to raise money. Um, and with this, uh, you know, Guns for Hire and her, we crashed. All right. I'm going to call it there, but um, I will see you guys on the next one and we'll finish that conversation. Thank you so much for watching and uh, have a great day.